Hi everyone, it's Justine. I'm back in Berlin and today I'd like to share with you who I turn to on Instagram for my daily doses of inspiration, ideas and dreams. The accounts I will show you now cover street style, designers, concept stores, illustration and makeup artists. So if you've got your phones ready, let's start with street style. The first account is Lookbook. It's a good source for regular postings. It's a well-curated collection of outfits and they also show individual pieces, so I find it good for inspiration. My favorite account for street style is the Sartorialists. It's a professional photographer behind it. His name is Scott Schumann. It's higher level street style. All the pictures are taken by him, so you notice his personal mark on the feed. He catches also the personality of the people and specific moments, so I find it even more qualitative. Let's move on to designers. I'm sparing you the ones that everybody knows, you'll find them yourself, and I'm gonna focus on those that are less known and just as good. The first one is Albert L. Baz. He's the former creative director of L'Envin for Women's Wear. He never had an Instagram account because he said, you know, I don't have photogenic friends, I just have gut friends, and we're not taking pictures of our food because we're busy eating it. <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor. He's also an amazing designer. Now that he left L'Envin, he actually did start an account. And I find it a very personal point of view. He really has an opinion and it's giving insights into his private life and I like that a lot. Isabelle Marron is a French female designer. Her account is kind of Instagram perfect, so it's not so personal, but I like the idea that they post series of three pictures. So the feed as a whole makes sense instead of posting single pictures. Maison Margiela is the next one. It's a French avant-garde house. For them, it's actually the opposite. <laughs> On their account, each piece and each look is a work of art. It's really high-end fashion. It's quite experimental, really, but they've got beautiful ideas. Then I want to highlight two concept stores for you that I really, really love. The first one is Vu Store. It's a store in Berlin. They actually post mainly pictures of their products but they're styled really nicely, and that's, in my opinion, the most daring store here in Berlin. So it's worth pointing out. The other one is Colette in Paris. It's a unique store, there is only one in the whole world. Their store is so famous and so hip that what they sell is usually a collaboration where famous designers create capsule collections just for that store, and you can find it only there. So it's good to know what's happening in the scene. Let's move on to illustration and patterns. The first one is Garance Doré. She's a French blogger who lives in New York City. I've met her there, actually. I love her ink drawings. I think they are amazing and naive and really Parisian. But she's also an excellent photographer who shot series for the most famous magazines internationally. The next one is called The Bouffon. It's a one-woman show, really cute, naive patterns that bring me in a good mood every time I see a post from her. That symbol. Gary Hess illustration. That woman draws with ink and uses watercolors a lot. The account looks like a box of French macarons in pastel colors. I could eat her feed. And our makeup artists, because there's no fashion without makeup, right? Here, Pat McGrath is the reference, absolutely. She creates the makeup for most major fashion shows in pretty much all fashion weeks. So she's a must. And then Lisa Eldridge, my chouchou, my favorite. <laughs> she actually has a YouTube channel and she has now become creative director of Lancôme. She's doing an amazing job. In a previous video, I mentioned her new book, which is called Face Paint, about the history of makeup. She's British and she's great. Now I have a question. I have an Instagram account, which is here. Until now, I've been posting things that I liked randomly. And so that's how my feed is looking. Random. <laughs> so the question is, do you think that Instagram account should be picture perfect, photoshopped, curated, filtrated, like the top Instagrammers on this planet? Or do you think that it should be a way to keep inspiration, ideas and memories, and it's okay if it looks random? What do you prefer? What do you watch most? I'm very interested in your opinion. Please write it down in the comments below this video. If you wrote down or noticed at least one Instagram account that you liked during this video, give it a thumb up. Thank you so much. Here I have linked two videos for you to watch next. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Do share it with the people around you so that you help it grow. 
See you next Saturday for our next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.